Lilia is so cute. It seems to me you're projecting your notions onto Idaya and refusing to see who he really is. Doing this calls Idaya the homie. It is I, Rika Otome. <laughs> Anger, despair, feeling stupid. These were all the feelings I felt when I realized that my stream of over an hour did not record any of the audio as well as the fun voices that I did while I played. I'm going to remedy that today by doing what needs to be done, which is replaying everything that I played on stream again. First, a bunch of ghosts surround me out of nowhere, and then they tie me up and now I'm being forced into marriage? I don't want to get married. I'm still in school. I tell you, darling. You're jumping for joy. I just love a man who's full of energy. Oh, Princess Eliza. You finally found your soulmate. I know it's been your dream to marry a perfect prince ever since you were a wee girl. Yet you were robbed of both that dream and your life. Fate can be too cruel. Okay, so I said this on stream. Well, I'll say it again since no one heard me. I empathize with her, but she's too delusional for my liking. If only I'd gotten to your room sooner, you'd have made it out alive. Billy Nana, are you dwelling on the past again? Come on, don't let ancient history bring you down. All my suffering and sorrows were for a purpose. In the end, I never would have met my darling Idaya otherwise. What a positive outlook you have, my lady. Okay, pump the brakes for a second. I don't want to be that guy. But don't I get, get a say in this? No, Idaya, you don't. You ungrateful lout. You should be ecstatic to have the honor of marrying her highness. To be honest, I really don't. Bro, we don't want. Static? Is that the normal reaction for people who are forced to marry a ghost? I thought you were dead. I thought like I died was not living. Like I don't understand. I'm I'm confused. You have no idea, do you? No idea how marvelous it would be to spend an eternity with our sweet, innocent princess. I don't think we care. I'm sorry, but like you all have empathy, but like, I, I, I ain't got that kind of shit. Like, imagine it was me in this situation. I would, bruh, I don't even know what I would do. Princess, there's trouble afoot. What's gotten you into such a letter, Grampy? We've had a report from the gatekeepers. Suitors are showing up in droves to ask for your highness's hand in marriage. Suitors? Just so. They're all students of Night Raven College, same as Mr. Idaya. This is monder confusing, but I'll take any chance I can get to get out of here. Idaya, I'm sorry for you. Gee, just so you know, all the students at Night Raven College are eligible bachelors, like Turbo eligible. Rich boys, preppy boys, bossy boys, cute boys, pretentious boys, you name it, they've got it. This guy out here is selling his way out of this place like the bottom of the barrel compared to them. It's alright, sweetie. It doesn't matter who comes calling. I'll turn on every single one of them. Just you relax and wait here right here. This is dedicated to this delusion. But you didn't listen to a word I said? I think that seven suitors would show up at once. I know I'm the right prince for your princess. Don't accept any paltry substitutes. Prince? I know she'll end up falling head over heels for me. Come on, be a good sport and let me meet her. Would you? For you and what have you done with Bill? I'm not just a model, remember. I'm also a professional actor. This dude out here playing all the right cards. I don't even know if you like her, Bill. Yet you're still gonna lead her on? Jack, you and I are alike in so many ways. But you can't be this gullible. Like, we have a mission, okay? No one cares about love here, okay? You should take love more seriously if you ask me. Not in this situation. Sis is holding someone hostage. Aww, what'd you look at that? 
A talking sea urchin. All I'm saying is this is basically a scam. And that ain't cool, you know. Back. Buddy. You're looking at this all wrong. Buddy? This is a competition to see who among us can charm the bride. And I never hold back at a competition. Simple as that. Ugh. You know, I take the regular you over the slime ball. Wrong, Leona. Scared you're gonna lose? You think I'm scared? The rivalry between two of them is amazing. Like, this is literally what at opposites. Hey, ghosty. I came all this way to see the lady, so go get a move on and bring her out here. How dare you refer to her highness with such flagrant disrespect. You're all random strangers as far as I'm concerned. We have no reason to trust you. So if you truly want to see her highness, you'll have to prove your strength. Are you the one to seek my hand? There she is. So that's the ghost bride who nabbed Idaya. I appreciate you coming all this way. But I'm afraid I have to apologize. You see, there's this lovely man named Idaya, and we've already promised ourselves to each other. He's tall with an air of nonchalance. His skin is luminous, his lidded eyes dignified. Oh, and he has the most charming smile that he reserves just for me. Homie, yeah, in too deep. He's got the loveliest lips. Which are a color I've never seen before. Oh, your lips are basically the same color, if you really must be honest. He's positively dashing, perfect in every way. Really? I can't say that description doesn't match Idaya. I love Tree. He's picking the wrong person. Pick someone who will bake for you for free, okay? Your attention flatters me, but compared to Idaya, you're obviously superior. Okay, alright. We have the competition. Looks like they've lost sight of our objective. Oh well, if you insist, fine. I suppose I can see if you're a fit to be my husband. Let's start with you, the rugged one with the cute ears. You're talking to me, right? Okay, yeah. Hey, I'm Leona Kingscholar. Go ahead and test me. I'm your guy, guaranteed. Ahem. Would you believe how long I've waited? Huh? I've waited for so very long. What? For a glimpse of that tender smile from you. Why is she bursting into song? Is choosing one of us too much for her? You're out. Slapped. Why'd the ghost suddenly slap him? Unbelievable. A princess was singing right in front of you, and you wouldn't even join her for a duet? You're no prince at all. Yeesh, and Leona's the only actual prince in our group. Next, you there with the pretty blonde hair. Hey there, the name's Vils Coinhide. Alrighty. Ahem. <clears throat> Would you believe how long I've waited? I cannot sing for Vil. I've waited for so very long For a glimpse of the tender smile From you Is he actually singing along with some random ghost dude none of us have ever heard before? Sabek, get on this level I could serenade you forever that's the least I could do for someone whose love I seek. How oh, very charming. Now, what's your dog's name? Why are you asking about dogs? For one thing, I live in a dorm. Of course I don't have a dog. You're out. Ow! I don't believe this. Have you any inkling how valuable my face is? Ah, uh, there's a bill we know. Anybody's break character if they got turbo slapped like that. She's got a very narrow view of what princes are. Leona, Will, you two okay? I can't move. Huh? What? I've been searching for my perfect prince for 500 years. Yet you dare to march in here and claim to be him when you're so clearly not? You deserve an extensive letter. Lesson on the pitfalls of toying with a fair maiden's heart. I'd say the same amount of time I've spent waiting should suffice. 500 years? 
I have never heard of a ghost who could paralyze humans with a slap. Next, you there, the strapping young man with the big white ears. Oh my god, Savannah Club music. Oh my god, I love this song so much. How's your skill with the sword? What's the biggest monster you slain? Now, a normal person who knows us who lie, I mean art, would say, Oh, I'm very adept with a claymore. What's a claymore? A giant sword. And I've slain a dragon. Do you have a legendary sword that's been passed down for generations? I do. I got it from my grandfather. A sword? What good's a glorified metal stick when I can just punch? You're out! You can't rescue a princess from monsters without a legendary sword. You're no prince. Next, you, the sharp-eyed handsome one. I am Sebek Zigfold. You wish to know about musical talents. I'm so glad you asked, ghost. Let me tell you about my lord. His proficiency with stringed instruments is renowned. You're out! You deserve to be smacked. Pardon? You're quite ill-mannered. I hadn't even finished speaking. You know what's ill-mannered? Bringing up an unrelated person doing a romantic interlude. You're hardly prince material. Next, the one with the fetching spectacles. But like when she slapped tree. The amount of anger that shook me in my core. I'm Trey Clover. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, your highness. Such a good mannered nice boy. You're out! My veil is like a dishcloth? My eyes are like grapes? A prince would never use such utterly unromantic analogies. Your similes were a tad mundane to be fair. I'm shocked you couldn't even manage. Your eyes are like jewels. Look, I'm just a regular student. She totally put me on the spot. All I could think of were things I knew. Look at how nice he is. Alright, next. You there with the disinterested look. Can I squeeze her? You're out! What did you think would happen? And last we have you, the handsome fellow with a pleasant smile. Jay Leach, at your service. Do be gentle with me. Look at the theme song for Octavino. Like, Octavino's song is so nice. But, like, several clubs is still number one in my book. Would you accept a gift to commemorate our meeting? My, what a lovely flower. Is it for me? But of course, your highness. And picked by yours truly. I saw it and thought of you. Whatever, Jade. Isn't that the same flower you dug up in the mountains? The uber poisonous one? Floyd, why you sm that used to smell for fire? What? Here. Normally a person's head would break if it so much as touched it, but it didn't seem to have effects on ghosts. Deranged smile. This deranged smile that this dude had on his face, God. Are you mad? I didn't expect Team Tall to get wiped out so quickly. Did you see how Floyd goaded the ghost into slapping him? Zero, zero hesitation. Let that be a lesson. It is folly to pick bridal candidates solely based on height. Y'all sign up for my course, how to get ghost girls. You need not worry on that score. Hmm? I would like to make up for the shortcomings of my doormates, Jade and Floyd. My word, they have no idea how to treat a lady. Oh my god, I'm so high. I, on the other hand, can offer you an Azul Ashen Grotto guarantee. I'll get the circle of severance on her hand. He's, I'm your guy. If you want advice on how to woo a cutie. This kind of stuff isn't really my strong suit. I don't know the first thing about girls' feelings. Oh, so you're just gonna abandon Trey? I see how it is. What? No, I would never do that. Then get scootin'. I'm sure Trey's waiting for you to swoop in and save the day. This dude is mischievous. Look at the face he's making. It's like, oh, this is going to be sweet to watch. Oh, do you see? You can't even see how he's playing you. 
I could barely call myself a teacher if I failed to make up for my students' deficiencies. Lydia is so cool. <laughs> the matter is in good hands, rest assured. Too bad you wouldn't even get a turn, Lydia. KK is gonna slay slay. <laughs> I believe you both find me a very hard act to follow. Damn smack. Oh. Ugh. No way. Impossible. Why was I rejected? Because she's not me. If you came to me, I really don't care. I'll collect. I really. I'm out here. I analyzed the first team's data and came up with the perfect approach by the ghost's standards. I gave her a bouquet of roses, sang a clarion love song. Where did I go wrong? She said you talked too much and lacked a shred of sincerity. It rubbed her the wrong way. True. Of course it did. You're not gonna get anywhere talking the lady's ear off. Well, you didn't exactly do the best either. Oh man, talk about a downer. I thought I was on fire. I failed to see how your flippin' chatter would spark anything but annoyance. Even the ghost was put off by your shallowness. So why were you here again, Deuce? I was trying to save you, but the moment I came face to face with her, I got cold feet. I planked and couldn't think of anything to say. Aw, look out, Trace. Just Trace smiling. This is so nice of a person. She told me I was too cute by half. True. Lilia is so cute. Oh, the vicissitudes of being as cute as a button. <laughs> For Lilia of all people to have received a slap of rejection. Ah. I die is nothing like the rest of you. Like I said, he's the perfect prince. I'm sure he'd love to join me in a song. He's just a tad shy at the moment. Dear me, those claims are absolutely delusional. It seems to me you're projecting your notions onto Idaya and refusing to see who he really is. So long as you gaze into the distance, you'll never find what you seek. Enough with your gibberish. I know what I found. And that's Idaya, my perfect prince. Here he is, your highness. Damn. Look how he's dressed. So cool. So fresh. Oh, I die, yes. That long fitted jacket really enhances your air of nonchalance. You're frozen, but you still have time to put your hand on your, on your waist. She slapped I die her too? Right, he's downright ruthless. Stunning rescue, guys. You crash, burn, and now you're nothing but a pile of wreckage. Shouldn't you normally be good at all this vapid socializing stuff? Aren't you embarrassed? Like, look. Makes me much. I Flo is like, I will kill you. Arr. You're so right, honey, dearest. Any other guy is total wreck compared to you. You're just so perfect. I can't wait a minute longer. We'll hold the wedding tonight. Then you shed your mortal form, and together our souls will depart for our honeymoon. And leave the mortal coil without getting to read my manga? No! Idea has his priorities right. Like, this dude has his priorities in check. I like that. Guys, you gotta get me out of this. Well, well, well. It sounds like you found someone who loves you in spite of your bad attitude. Yeah, you know what? Good on you for finding your soulmate. What? You yelled at me. Why would I help you? That's true. Why are you so shocked after hurling all those insults at us? <laughs> Azul, aren't we board game clump buddies? Your fast talker talk some sense into this ghost. To think I die a king of all introverts would get married. I can't see through all my tears of joy. Piss off the wrong people. They screw you over. There's not much time until midnight. We need a successful proposal and fast. I suppose we have little choice. We'll have to round up every remaining potential suitor. Me? Propose to a ghost after Leona and Jack got captured trying to do it? Absolutely not. Leona will find his way back on his own. No way I'm sticking my neck out for free. There would be consequences for my entire family if he were exposed to any danger. 
damn can someone release jamil please i'm begging and if i went on my own i guarantee kalim would go oh that sounds fun and tag along and that's all there is to it i'm afraid you have to clean up your mess for yourselves first of all it's not even our mess like none of it's our business i'm doing this cause i die the homie and second of all she kidnapped him I can't, now that fa- uh, Lilia and Sevek are absent, I'm the only one left to guard Malleus. I don't mind being on my own, you know. I'm sure Lilia would share my views, were he here, sire. Anyway, that's that. I'm simply sorry, I can't be of assistance. This guy is more overpowered than all of you combined, like what are you trying to do here? So, we have gathered a grand total of nobody. Absolutely heartless. Worry not, you have two qualified suitors right here. Please don't slap Rook, like my heart will cut. Slap my brother? But of course, helping our fellow man is one of the most be beauteous acts. That, and I refuse to let any more mockery of Phil's fair fe features continue. I'll join you. Wait, what? You're not seriously going to rescue Trey and Cater. He's your house wedding. This is his job. However, I have even I have an even more critical reason. Aren't you forgetting something important, Ace? Am I? Rule 703. Anyone who comes in second in croquet tournaments must serve the queen tea the next day. What's that got to do with... Oh. Oh, yeah. Connected the dots, I see. Cater placed second in yesterday's croquet tournament. He must return to the dorm before tomorrow. Oh my god. You are really going to save your homie for some tea? Only cause of tea. Like, no. I understood when I died, I was like, oh, he wants to read the manga. Like, I got him because he's the homie. But because of tea, Riddle. Dude. This is kind of an emergency. If you haven't noticed, I'll just make you some tea if Cater can't. Out of the question, you didn't even rank top 10 yesterday, Ace. In compliance with the rules, I will make certain Cater returns in time. So the next team of suitors will consist of myself, Rook, Appel, and Ace, making four of us in total. Me? How am I a part of any of this, Ace, if you don't shut up? Were you planning on sitting out? Yeah, obviously. No reason to leap onto a train wreck in progress. I'll be just fine with a pelt here. Huh? Why me? Because unlike Ace, you possess actual bravery. Excuse me? Oh, I see what you're getting at, Riddle. You and a pelt wouldn't even get a turn if I was there. I actually want to see Ace compete. So you just sit back and watch as I dazzle her city. Okay, okay, Ace. For the matter, I'm not convinced the rest of you guys will make the cut anyway. I can possibly see Rook, but you and Appel are shorter than the bride. Rook will definitely make it in. Well, I don't want to go. Ain't nothing in it for me. Tuna. Three counts, that's what I can offer you. Nobody was asking you, Grim. We don't need you on the team. And just what do you mean by that? Now he's coming on the team. You do have to get him to now. I'm the charmiest guy around, and I'll prove it. I'm going with you. Gullible Grim. If Operation Proposal fails for a third time, Idaya's life will be forfeit. Okay. The Ghost Bride censored the A and B teams for not dressing appropriately, and she was rather taken with Idaya's talks. We cannot ignore this vital piece of information. I say we create the perfect prince package. <gasps> Riddle! What do I have to do to get this card? I really want this card. Okay, so I finished all the available story content, which is great. Thank you guys so much for watching the content for today. Freaking! So, if you want to catch the stream, you can go to twitch.tv forward slash to catch all the action 
life. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment. What was your favorite part of the video? I'll catch you guys in the next video.